Yo, yo, what's going on, Titan Nation? What's going on, everybody? Welcome in. Welcome in to a new edition of Titans of Truth. And we are live from Flavor House in Memphis, Tennessee, as we get ready to kick off the 2018 NFL season. I'm your man, Chris, a.k.a. Blue and Forza. We're going to have a really, really good time. We're going to pregame. Uh, this game coming up with the Miami Dolphins. Uh, I'm out here at Flavor House, right out here on Mount Moriah. So definitely come out here. Um, I'm sorry, on Kirby Parkway. So if you're in Memphis, come on out to Flavor House. Check out their food. They got some really, really good food here. And as y'all can see behind me, you got the Flavor House sign. You got some Bill Street and everything going on. So I want everybody to get in, and we're going to get uh, this show going in just a bit. Going to preview the game a little bit. And, you know, talk about both teams just a bit. And also, uh, I got some people on Facebook Live tuning in. And uh, I'm going to get everybody in here in just a bit. Mr. Eric, I say tighten up. What's up, Mitch? Tell your wife get on there. Miss Ashley, get on in there. And so, uh, yeah, we're live from here. And it is a nice place to watch the game. People are starting to file in. And, you know, we're going to have a really, really good time and a really good game here. So, and what I'm also going to be doing uh, during the game, I'm going to try to give a little a couple of updates during the game while everything is going on. I'm going to probably talk about, you know, what's going on uh, with the team, you know, some plays that may be happening or some uh, turnovers uh, that happen too, so good and bad. And so if you see this on, you know, you see this on the video on YouTube, if you see me looking off, I'm also checking Facebook Live as well. And so I'm also doing both uh, at the same time. So you know, get up with me. I'm just doing a little shifting and everything so everybody can see me. And this is going to be a fun game. I, I, I can't wait. I'm excited. I am really anticipating the game, and I hope everybody can hear me good. So uh, if y'all can't hear me good, especially on Facebook Live, um, let me know what's up. Let me know, and I'll make sure to make some improvements and things like that. If y'all hear anything in the background, you're hearing – uh, the uh, Fox NFL Sunday pregame show that's going on right now. So, and also spread the word, y'all. Share this show out. Share it out uh, to everybody so that they see what's going on and they see that uh, this show is happening so that they can tune in as well. So, put the word out, everybody. Just hit that share button uh, down there and share it to public and everybody will be able to see it. You know, get out, get it on your uh, IG, uh, put it out on your Twitter. Tell them Titans the truth. They we on the road, so we are uh, here in Memphis right now. And I'm gonna make sure I try to do this every week. Uh, I'll probably do a pregame show. Like if it's a home game, uh, I will probably make sure to do a pregame show early before I go to the game, and then probably do a postgame show. Maybe get a few comments from fans, but uh, also do a postgame show uh, when I get back to the house. Uh, once the game is over. So this is something that I'm going to try to do every Sunday. I'm going to do my best to do that. And uh, tune in. I see uh, Brandon. I see Miss Jenny. And um, I see everybody uh, filing in. Everybody keep filing in. And I want y'all to stay in tune. How's it going? But right now, let's get into this game. Let's talk about this. It's the first game of the year. Finally, it is here. We're kicking it off. And we got the Miami Dolphins week one. And... What I'm hoping for this game is a good start. We gotta have a good start uh, to this game. We need to make sure that if we get the ball first, we need to take care of business, drive down and score. Uh, you know, drive down and score or get a field goal. At least get some points on the first drive. And I know this offense could be slow out of the gate because we haven't really seen a lot of the offense, so we don't really know what to expect. Um, but we're going to find out today cuz I think Matt LaFleur has basically said he's going to he's going to unleash this offense. So, we're going to find out uh what this offense is all about. <laughs> like I say coming in saying uh Marcus is going to light them up. I hope so. I really really hope so. I see uh Ben coming in. How you doing Ben? Brandon, what's going on? We're going to all tighten up today. Chanel, I see you. How's everybody doing? But 
And as y'all see, y'all, Flavor House is live and popping, so everything is going on while uh, while I'm pre-gaming. You know, the restaurant is still uh, getting open and everything, so, uh, you know, they got a lot of good food. They got chicken wing. They got jerk chicken. Uh, I'm looking actually back here at the menu. Yeah, they got some everything. They got chicken. They got fish. Y'all can see the menu behind me. You know, they got burgers. So uh, definitely hit them up. You know, definitely hit them up whenever you're in Memphis. And if you are in Memphis, if you are in Memphis, where you at? You should be here for this game. Y'all should be here to watch this game with the rest of the with the rest of the people here. So that's gonna be cool. But um, quickly, let's uh, let's get started on this. I know I'm going all over the place and everything. I'm kind of winging it a little bit, but we're gonna have some fun. But like I said earlier, we got to get off to a good start. Let's start with the offense. Got to get off to a good start. We get the ball first. We need to drive. We need to score. Make a statement early. Make a statement. Take the crowd out of the game. Punch Miami in the mouth right away. And if they do that, you can take the crowd out of the game and you can kind of take the will of Miami very, very early. And, you know, Marcus needs to be crisp with his receivers. Don't turn the ball over. You know, Corey Davis, you know, Corey Davis needs to have a good game. Corey Davis needs to, um, you know, step up. He needs to catch every pass that comes his way. He, you know, makes sure that, you know, he doesn't drop anything. Taewon Taylor, get in open space, make some yards after the catch. Rashard Matthews is going to be important. We're going to find out, you know, if all that time away maybe helped or hurt him. So we're definitely going to find out. And, um, and I like that, Ben. Ben is right. We're going to see what Corey Davis is about. Absolutely. We're definitely going to see that. And, uh, you know, Mitch coming in saying Derrick Henry's going to have a big game. He's going to have to have a big game. And uh, But I think Deion Lewis, this is a good matchup for him because I've been hearing it all week. The Miami linebackers are not really that good. And so the Miami linebackers may have it where Deion Lewis can get into some space and maybe exploit that matchup. So that could be a very, uh, that could be a very, very good matchup to exploit is uh, Kiko Alonso and Raekwon McMillan in the middle of that defense. You know, definitely see we could take advantage of that and get some extra yards. Like I said, more people are starting to come on in here to Flavor House and everything to watch this game. So that's going to be really, really cool. And um, and I think that's something that can, that we can exploit. I don't think defensively Miami is as good as people might mark them out to be. Besides the pass rushers, they really don't have anything else, in my honest opinion. So we really got to take advantage of that. Um, you know, they got – now Miami does have Robert Quinn and Ke and the ageless wonder Cameron Wake. Cameron Wake is 36 years old and is still bringing it. So – Dennis Kelly is going to have the matchup of his life uh, against Cameron Wade. He's going to have to have some help. They're going to have to have a tight end or a running back maybe um, double down to help him as far as making sure that he is um, you know, able to take care of Cameron Wake or if they switch and put Robert Quinn on that side, which I think, and, if, and I mentioned this on um, Wednesday's show, that I think Miami is going to try to go after Dennis Kelly and try to put both Robert Quinn and Cameron Wake on those sides at times. So that might be something that Miami may try to exploit, but we're going to see. I think Dennis Kelly has been up to the challenge, and he's been very serviceable in his years in Tennessee. So, you know, like I said, Marcus has got to be Chris. The receivers have got to be where they're supposed to be. Uh, Deion Lewis can take advantage. I also see where um, Derrick Henry can have a big game up the middle of the line and the offensive line. That is going to be a good point. What is this offensive line going to do? The interior of the offensive line has been subpar at best during the preseason. Ben Jones, this is a very, very important year for Ben Jones. Ben Jones has got to show he can be the quarterback of this offensive line because if he does not we got Corey Levin uh, to back him up they may try to you know replace him with Corey Levin or they may look at drafting a, a center next year so this is a big year for Corey Levin 
for Quentin Spain. You know, he got that tender. They don't know if they really want to re-sign him yet. So Quinn Spain's going to have to have a really good year. And also uh, Josh Klein, who at times Josh Klein has had some trouble uh, in the preseason, but I think he'll bring it along. Uh, later on as the game goes on and if you're watching on Facebook live, you know, ask me some questions comment with me You know, I want to know what y'all think and uh, and I'll definitely try to answer some questions uh, in a bit So right now we are, you know, we're about a little under 15 minutes to kick off And so we got about 15 minutes to go uh, before we get this game started and You know, I think the Titans have a very good chance here to have a very very good game and a very very good season Matt LaFleur is going to be the equalizer Matt LaFleur is going to be is going to tell the tale of this season if Matt LaFleur calls plays correctly we could have a very 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 good offense and I said this I said this on Wednesday in the preview show if this offense gets clicking in the middle of the season, it is going to be a hard thing to stop. This offense will be very, very difficult to game plan for because there's going to be a lot of weapons and there are going to be a lot of people that you're going to have to be accounted for if they get this offense in sync. So that's what I'm hoping to have. That's what I'm hoping to see out of this offense. So um, that's going to be something very important. But... Before we get over to the defensive side of the ball, again, I want to give a shout-out to where we are right now, to Flavor House. Uh, Flavor House right here out on Mount Moriah. I mean, uh, Kirby Parkway. Kirby Parkway and um, and Mount Moriah. That is the intersection. Kirby Parkway, Mount Moriah, uh, the Knight Arnold area. So you definitely want to come out here and uh, watch uh, this Titans game. The Titans Fan Club of Memphis is here every game, every Sunday. They are here they got good staff here. They have good food here. Um, I'm probably going to order either some catfish or some chicken tenders uh, in a little while to watch this game. And so they have a really, really good people here. I want to give a shout-out to Slick, one of the people here running it. And we got some good people working around here. Uh, they definitely give you everything that you need. And this is a really – they have some really, really good food. I've heard a lot of people say some good things about it. And – I've had no complaints so far. So definitely come check out Flavor House on Kirby Parkway in the Kirby Parkway Plaza, you know, and uh, definitely come find us and uh, watch some of the football here. And I'll be telling you more about that in the post-game show too. And also, as y'all can see, also check out my girl, uh, LaCrystal Cleveland at Craftgasmic Creations. You know, she made my Titans and True shirts. Y'all have seen them. Uh, I'm going to be wearing my Titans and True shirt on Sunday uh, in the home opener against the Houston Texans. I'm going to be wearing my shirt. So definitely make sure uh, y'all are definitely um, hitting her up and um, ordering your shirts. And, you know, as you're hearing, they say, welcome to Flavor House. You know, you can come on in here and get you some good food. And I'm just adding in a couple more people. Okay, and as you can see, one of the ladies was talking about taking my order, so I'm probably going to be getting something to eat uh, here in a little bit before the game kicks off and everything, so just uh, add in some people. But, yeah, so let's go over to the defensive side of the ball now. This is what I'm really looking forward to on the defensive side of the ball. We got to get a pass rush. We already going to have one of the better secondaries in the league. We're going to have one of the better secondaries in the league coming in with Adoree Jackson, Logan Ryan, Malcolm Butler, with Kevin Byer, and Kenny uh, Vaccaro. But if you don't have an effective pass rush, it's going to be very, very difficult to get. And see, we got some more people coming in here. We got some fans coming in here showing love. So if we don't have an effective pass rush, the secondary is going to have to cover a lot longer. And that could open up a lot of things. Even though Miami doesn't have the receivers or anything, I mean, they got Danny Amendola, Albert Wilson, and Kenny Stills. Now, Kenny Stills is fast, and Amendola is a third down threat. So we got to be careful of that. But I got to see the defense get after the passer. That's 
Jarrell Casey, that's Daquan Jones, that's Brian Arakpo. Derek Morgan is playing today. You know, we thought he might be out the first couple of weeks of the season, but Derek Morgan is going to be up. He's going to be playing. Kamala Correa, Aaron Wallace, those guys are going to be key. Sharif Finch might get in and get some snaps. So those guys are going to have to get to the quarterback, get to Ryan Tannehill. If we can get to Ryan Tannehill early and we can maybe confuse him and maybe frustrate him, that can lead to some turnovers. Um, the last time Ryan Tannehill played against the Tennessee Titans, we got to him and we racked him up with six sacks. Casey had two, Arakpo had two, Morgan had two. So that's going to be very important. You have got to get to the quarterback and help this secondary. And if you can do that effectively, that's going to lead to turnovers. That's going to lead to interceptions. So that's going to be very, very key. In the middle, Wesley Woodyard, you know, Will Compton, Jayon Brown on third down. They're going to have to make sure they take care of King and Drake uh, either coming out of the backfield or in the run. Stop the run and put the ball in Ryan Tannehill's hands. Force him to have to win the game. Because you do that, you're going to have some success and some luck. And so that's what I'm really looking for defensively. Get after the quarterback, cause some turnovers, and definitely, um, you know, play fundamentals. Do your job. Play aggressive, but play smart. So that's definitely what I'm hoping for for this defense. I'm excited to see what this defense can do, and I'm really, really looking forward to that. And so we're again about 10 minutes. Uh, we're about 10 minutes away from kickoff, and our uh, fans are still starting to file in. And this is a really, really good thing to do. And like I said, we're live here at Flavor House. Flavor House out here on Kirby Parkway, 3279 Kirby Parkway. And that is out here right past uh, Knight Arnold, right off the interstate, off of uh, 385. And you can come out here, you can get you some good food. Um, and they have some really, really good wings. They got some chicken tenders. They got catfish. I'm thinking about getting me either a chicken tender basket or some catfish uh, in a little bit. They have, um, you know, some kicking, uh, kicking shrimp, some Cajun shrimp. Uh, you know, you can get some onion rings, some fries, things like that. They have some really good stuff, salads, quesadillas. They got everything that you could possibly want. And so, uh, y'all yeah, need to definitely get out here and uh, check them out indeed. And... I'm trying to take a look at some of the sauces that they have out here, but I know they got some good ones. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find that, but I don't think I see it yet. But, you know, they got their usual. You got your mild, you got your barbecue, you got maybe your honey hot or honey gold. You have your usual and uh, things like that. What's up, Cody? What's going on? I'm going to have to bring you on. We're going to have to definitely do this. So uh, one of these days I am going to bring you on, so we're going to definitely make that happen. But... One other thing that I'm going to look for, and then I'm going to go into my Blue Enforcer, Four Ways to Victory. And we're going to definitely do that before I make my prediction. Um, special teams could be very important. You know, Cameron Baston is not up, so it looks like Adoree Jackson is going to be handling kickoff and punt return duty. If Adoree Jackson can get a big return, that's going to be huge. I mean, if he brings in a big return, or something like that, that can flip field position, and he could probably make a big play, maybe get a return for a touchdown. Brett Kern, the best punter in the NFL, he could pin the Dolphins deep and, um, and force them to have to make a long drive, maybe inside the 20 or inside the 10 or something like that. That's going to be very important. Suck up, maybe make some kicks, because I think it may come down to some field goals. That's going to be very, very important. So... That's something that I'm really, really looking forward to, trying to see what they're going to do. And I really hope that um, their special team doesn't cost us a game. Last year's special teams was a concern. Uh, in the preseason, special team actually did very well. They didn't have a lot of penalties. Uh, they had some decent returns. And they actually almost caused a couple of turnovers. They had a couple of uh, fumbles that happened on some plays and things like that. So... You could definitely see where special teams can be very, very vital in a game like this. So those are some of the keys. Uh, those are some of the things that I'm looking at as far as offense, defense, and special teams. I think my, uh, I think the president 
I think the president of the uh, Titans Fan Club of Memphis is just coming in here. I'm going to get him in right quick. And this is my man, Mr. Larry. This is my man, Mr. Larry Garman, my, my frat brother of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. He is the president of the Titans Fan Club here in Memphis. And, you know, he helped set all of this up and put this in motion. He's the reason why I'm here and everything with that. So, uh, Big Larry, how's it going? Good. Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Yeah, everything going good. So, what you looking for? You looking for a Titan win? Yeah, I already know. There it is. There it is. So, you know, I've just got I got him coming in. And if y'all want to be, a, if you're in Memphis and you're looking for the Titan Fan Club, come on down here. Come on down here and join us. You know, I'm a member, even from out of town. So I'm in. He's the guy to talk to, and he'll get you set up and everything. Tighten up in a major way. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. It's gonna be live and kicking up in here, and so. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. There's nowhere else to be. There's nowhere else you would rather be than right here with everybody watching this game. So, my man Larry, I appreciate you. He, right. I'm going to get him on for the post game, too. I'm going to get him on for the post game. We're going to talk about everything after the game, too. So, you know, anything else you want to add? Hey, I just stay tuned and see how we do it. There Let's it is. There it is. There it is. Thank you, Mr. Larry. Thank you, though. But. You know, that's Mr. Larry Garman, my boy LG, uh, coming in. And so, like I said, like I said, get everybody up here at Flavor House. We live, we kicking, we doing it good. You know, I'm here on Facebook Live. And we're going to come back and go live after the game is over. So, we're going to definitely do this big. And as you can see right now, it looks like the uh, Miami Dolphins are about to hit the field. Yeah, we got about five minutes to kick off, so let me get my blue, uh, let me get my quick uh, four ways to victory right quick before we get started. First off, again, get off to a good start offensively. Get off to a good start, no turnovers, and just play together. Play together, play patient, play football, Marcus, do your thing, and everything's going to be all right. Number two, defensively, get after the quarterback. Get after the quarterback, make Ryan Tannehill uncomfortable, cause some turnovers. That's going to be key. Number three, special team, make a big play, cause a turnover, get a big return. And last but not least, coaching is going to be key. Mike Vrabel is going to have to make a big decision at some point. You know, how is he going to do in his first game as the Titans head coach? Is he going to make a call that he's going to regret later? Is, you know, or is he going to make a call that maybe is a genius call? He, you know, this is a big game for him too. I haven't even mentioned that. Coaching is going to play a big part. Matt LaFleur, he's going to be up in the booth, not on the uh, sideline. So with that, he's going to be able to see the field and maybe see where some advantages can be taken in different matchups. So coaching is very, very important. That's going to be a huge key. So... Again, like I said, get off to a good start offensively. Get after the pass rusher and cause some turnovers. Make a big play special teams and good coaching. Those are all going to be big keys to a Titan win. And we can tighten up together in victory. And so now I give my prediction. And I've said this before and I say it again. The Tennessee Titans will win this game. I think they're the better team on paper. I think... They, you know, they have more to win. And with the tough games that are coming up, you got Houston, you got Jacksonville, you got Philly after these. This game, you got to win. You got to get off to a good start. So that's going to be very, very important. And with that, and so I'm predicting a 24-6 to Titans victory. I think Marcus Mariota throws a couple of touchdowns. I think uh, one of them will probably be to either Deion Lewis or Corey Davis. I think Derrick Henry runs for another. And I think defensively, we get after Tannehill. I think we hold them. I don't think offensively they have the weapons that can really do a lot of damage to this defense. And I think Malcolm Butler's going to get an interception. You know, Malcolm Butler has experience. And that's the thing I forgot to mention. You got guys like Deion Lewis, like Malcolm Butler, who have played against the Dolphins a lot in the past, you know, with the Patriots. So they know this team. 
they know how the pay, how the Dolphins could be, and so they can use that to their advantage as well. But I think Malcolm Butler is going to get an interception, and it looks like there could be some rain on the horizon, which could be much more for Derrick Henry in the running game. So we're definitely going to find out what's going on uh, with that. It looks like they're saying it's going to be in about the mid to upper 80s, uh, maybe some scattered showers in the area. That looks like that's the forecast. So we're going to definitely find out what uh, we're going to definitely find out what they're made of. And I'll probably do a quick Facebook live at halftime and give you all some updates on that. And then I'm going to come back and do a post game show uh, after the game is over. So. Everybody, that's my prediction, 24-6. to 6. Titans get this win to go to 1-0, and and we're going to definitely find out what's up. And y'all keep staying tuned. I'm going to do some updating, and I'm going to tell y'all what's happening. But it's about to get loud and kicking up in here, here at Flavor House. I'm going to holler at y'all. Tighten up. Let's get this win.